So my name is Dr. Vinay and I've been teaching veterinarians for almost a decade now. So my area of expertise is in surgery and anesthesia, but I have uh, I work in the field of rabies eradication. I've worked in the field of uh, empowering veterinarians and uh, so the need of the hour is that everyone needs to be guided with the right information. Like there are a lot of people working in animal welfare okay, and a lot of educated people are there and they want to do something meaningful. They want their society to benefit, they want the animals to benefit and this is where uh, I come in, I help you to make most of your time over there. So I can tell you how to best, best utilize your time in animal welfare. So the, my first question to all of you, okay, so how many of you like animals? Hmm? Everyone likes animals, okay, fine. So how many of you have pets? All of you have pets, okay. So how many of your pets are vaccinated? Hmm? How many of them are neutered? How many of your pets are neutered? Hmm? Everyone's? Okay, so how many of you come in contact with more than one pet? Okay, how many of you are vaccinated for rabies? Hmm? How many of you are vaccinated for rabies? Everyone, you have not, but you come in contact. Hmm? So how can you keep see people safe if we ourselves are not safe? So if you want to work in the field of rabies first, animal welfare, you need to be protecting yourself first from the zoonotic diseases. Okay, so the rabies protection begins with ourselves. So if you are going to be coming in contact with more than one animal and if you are going to be in a rabies endemic country and if you are going to work towards rabies eradication, you need to be vaccinated for rabies first. Okay, so now how many of you know what to do when a dog bites? Hmm? That we have to wash, we have to wash our wound for running water with soap or water, soap, antiseptic, whatever is available, and then go to the doctor. And then, uh, how many injections you have to take? Five. How many injections? Five. Now, how many of you know the severity of dog bites? What are the different grades? Grade one, grade two, grade three. There are a lot of things over there. How will you? How many of you know that where we need immunoglobulins? that the doctor has to tell that is fine now how many of you know that the bite that we got from the animal whichever animal was whether he was vaccinated or not hmm? how many of us know whether he was suspected to be rabies or not okay not all bites are rabies bites okay but then how do you decide now everyone knows most of you know how to, what to do when the dog bites but how many of you know what to do so that the dog doesn't bite in the first place how many of you know that? Hmm? So what I am trying to say is everyone should know that also. Yeah. What to do after dog bite lot of people will tell you. But how not to get bitten in the first place very few people tell. For your information 5 year old to 15 year old child whether boy or girl is at risk of getting bitten. Because these are the people which need education. These are the people which need to be told what to do, what not to do. Okay. So now, and for your information, every one hour in India, a child dies of rabies. As we speak also. So what are we going to do about it? Hmm? So what are the things that you can do? What are the things you sh should be doing? Okay, and what are the things that you shouldn't be doing are certain things that a professional, if you tells you, you will be able to understand it even better. So what is the role of a veterinarian in a society? A veterinary doctor is an important link between human, animal and ecosystem welfare. By ensuring animal welfare, we make sure that the animals stay disease free. And by ensuring animals staying disease free, we make sure that humans stay disease free. And we are the people who are an important part of our society, which is a link between the nature, the animals and the humans. And we are the people who can give you that important message, 
how we can all coexist together because we we have to coexist right so it's very important to understand how to coexist in such a way that we are not adding to the existing problems but actually work towards the solution of the problems so i am going to tell you a very important thing which is called as a bite prevention education all of you are educated all of you are speaking the local state language all of you are speaking english english speaking people all of you are the people who are going in zones where there is conflict or whether someone needs help so you are the most important people who can give bite prevention education because i cannot go everywhere because i am a veterinary doctor i need to treat my patients i need to teach veterinarians i need to teach uh, assistants i need to take care of patients who are sick so all my professional time goes in taking care of them but all those people who are other professionals out of passion out of interest who wants to do something more productivity productive with their time you people can do a very important role play a even a bigger important role that what i am playing of educating the children for bite prevention a simple message like if you are able to pass out to each and every school of your city your state your country that a sleeping dog a dog which is eating and a dog with pups should not be approached or should not be disturbed 90% of the free roaming dog bites will not happen in children in the first place all our children of our nation have to be protected whether it is a boy whether it is a girl whether it is ours whether it is someone else's everyone needs to be taken care of बेटा हो या बेटी दोनों को बचाओ समझ में आ रहा है एवरी वन इज एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड सो आई वॉन्ट ऑल द एजुकेटेड एनिमल वेलफेयर लविंग पीपल हु आर इन द फील्ड ऑफ एनिमल वेलफेयर टू अंडरस्टैंड बाइट प्रिवेंशन एजुकेशन बिकॉज यू कैन स्प्रेड दिस इंफॉर्मेशन फार मच बेटर एंड टू मोर नंबर ऑफ पीपल दैट वॉट वी कैन द पावर ऑफ information the power of reaching power of uh, educating all the people like minded people who want to do something meaningful if you people come together and you give each other bite prevention education how to how not to get bitten then it will be a significant step there are billion, there are how many what is the population of our country at the moment 1.3 billion okay there are only 1 lakh veterinarians in our country not more than that and they are all busy taking care of animals sick animals everyone but you educated people are more in number and i believe that there are hundreds and thousands and lakhs of schools all over the country if we are able to send this message to each school notice board to the email of the each of the school principal and in the first aid kit which every teacher is trained for that bite prevention education if it goes in that first aid kit through that teacher if it comes to that student then it will be important just telling a child once is not going to help because he is a child he forgets even big people forget so how does it helping teaching him once or telling him once don't do this help it is not enough it has to be repeatedly emphasized and i cannot do it alone i need this educated people i need this interested people who are working in the field of animal welfare to emphasize this message and that itself will reduce the free roaming dog bites by a significant amount and other problems we will take care by training people by training veterinarians by helping them understand the technical details but at least the simple thing like bite prevention is an important thing which i think every one of you should do for pet dog owners what is the how like what are the things you should not do pulling the tail pulling the ears snatching food from their plate taking away toys from them beating them shouting at them forcing them hugging them all those things are incidents where there is 
incidence of biting. They should not be disturbed when they are sleeping, they should not be disturbed when they are eating and you should not be uh, forcing them to do things that they don't like. If you are able to do this, your pets will not bite you. A dog or uh, will bite only at two times. One is where he is threatened, when he is afraid of you and he is not able to run away. Very few animals will come and directly attack without a reason. Either they need something, I must, either they must be hungry, I might be thirsty, maybe you are threatening them or maybe you are blocking them, maybe you hurt them uh, accidentally by uh, disturbing them when they are eating, when they were sleeping, when they were uh, uh, having their pups or maybe accidentally you stepped on them, you threatened them incidentally. That is why animal, animal, uh, animal and human conflicts occur, otherwise they do not occur. So, all the educated people in the, in the field of animal welfare, in the field of animal lovers who are in the field, I would request them to please give bite prevention education to the children of our country. 5 year old to 15 year old are at risk of getting bitten, every one hour a child is dying of rabies. And we have to save the dogs from rabies also, we have to save our children from rabies also. If you are just able to tell them that please do not disturb a eating dog, a sleeping dog and a dog with pups, 90 percent of the dogs will not bite and you, our children will be safe. If this one message goes to a chaos, that will be a very big uh, development. I want this message to reach to each and every single child of the country. Now, we have to do that. Unless we do that, our children are not going to be safe. Okay, we are going to do more about that, but this is something that I want information networking, social media to do because this message needs to grow across and it does not help if it stays only with me. Okay, thank you.